Hi there folks, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm coming to you from a brasserie in uh, the Bois de la Trempe, which is a forest in the heart of Brussels, okay? It's been a superb day today, um, probably around 30 degrees, and the majority of people in Brussels all obviously come out to these parks with their children, they play, they ride bicycles, they catch up on the sun, very important for vitamin D, I might add. And um, yeah, I'll probably be doing a review on the food here as well. So um, you'll be able to check that out too. But really the um, purpose for this video is to talk to you about starting ketogenesis, okay? If you want to get your body into ketosis, um, it is advisable to have a plan going forward, okay? Um, you, you are effectively planning to fail if you fail to plan, right? So there's a couple of things that I need to go through with you um, for you to best equip yourself for uh, this type of uh, metabolic synthesis, okay? So really what we've identified is we've identified really what we're trying to do is we are trying to get our bodies to um, build or create ketone cells, okay? Ketone bodies are what are required in order to synthesize fat as energy, okay? And if you look at the previous videos um, that I've done, you'll be able to see what all the benefits of those are, okay? Primarily, again, just recapping very quickly, anti-aging, cancer it eradicate, eradicates cancer completely, um, and obviously fantastic weight loss results. Okay, so I'm just going to go into a couple of notes that I've been making for um, my website, and um, that I can refer to, so there's obviously congruency. Um, most importantly, by now, you should realize what we're trying to do is we're trying to eliminate both sugar and carbohydrates, okay? So, my suggestion to you is, if you're going to develop this manner of living, this lifestyle, this way of eating, okay? The best thing to do is to give yourself, give it a week or two weeks, okay, where you can start to begin to phase out carbohydrates out of your diet, okay? Carbohydrates, you need to really cut those down, um, and also sugar. Sugar is the most important one that we want to control. We don't want any sugar because what we're trying to do is we're trying to keep our insulin levels as low as possible. Remember, if we go back, what's the purpose of insulin? Insulin protects our systems, okay? When there's a lot of sugar in our blood systems, insulin says to us, whoa, there's a lot of sugar here. Um, it obviously tries to balance that sugar by removing excess sugar out of the bloodstream. That puts the body in a position where it starts to store, okay? It's, it goes into preservation mode, self-preservation mode, and it tells the rest of your system to store, okay, we under threat, store whatever energies you can. And it is for this purpose that most people get no results when they're trading or exercising because if you've got a lot of uh, insulin or leptin in your bloodstream, okay, it's going against the grain of the body. The body is saying, no, I don't want to do this, okay, uh, and it will not allow you to burn fat. So that's one of the big benefits of ketosis, is we're eradicating sugar, we're eradicating carbohydrates, okay, so that ketone bodies can be formed, and obviously our insulin levels then are going to remain really low. Um, so the lower our insulin levels, then our cells are able to burn fat, and burn fat continuously. So that's really what the objective is here, it's to get our um, cells into a, a situation where the fat can be readily burnt. Okay, so the first step I would recommend is concentrate on reducing your carb intake and really you have to cut all sugar out. 
If you guys cannot do this, honestly, you're wasting your time. Okay. Um, this, this way of eating is going to give you the very best benefits that you can get. But like anything in life, there are certain things that we're going to have to compensate for. And that is sugar and carbs, guys. Carbs, we're going to take in small amounts, but we're going to take it in from green leafy vegetables. Okay, but no complex carbohydrates. That's no potatoes, no starches, no pastas, no breads. Okay, watch the flour that you use. If it, if it has wheat derivatives, again, we cannot use it. Okay, so the first step, as I said to you, is cut down on these things and give yourself some time. Give yourselves a week or two okay to start phasing this out if you are already eating a lot of carbs okay if you already don't really eat that many carbs then i'd say to give yourself a week that should be ample okay the next step that i think i need to um, recommend is i will be in due course okay in my food series i will be making homemade stocks and homemade broths Okay, this is important because within this type of um, eating and this type of um, metabolism we're going to lose a lot of water and your body is going to pull a lot of sodium okay so it's very easy number one if you're not drinking enough water okay to become dehydrated and you're going to lose a lot of sodium which means you're going to disturb your electrolyte balance and if you disturb the electrolyte balance sufficiently you're going to become dehydrated okay so a good thing is to drink a cup or two of good homemade chicken stock or beef stock okay as i say i'll be showing you how to do these at, in a later date um, but this is something which i'm going to stress as something that people can do on a daily basis okay as part of their meal regime in order to make sure that you keep enough electrolytes in the system. Okay. Um, the next point that I'd like to go on to is I'd say, again, depending on what sort of school of thought you come from, preparing your mind and your mindset for it is also, I, I feel, crucially important. Okay. Um, there are some people who think adopting a mantra and affirmations and those sort of things are a load of poppycock. Well, I can tell you that they do help. But the key to this is, is you need to have a mantra, okay, which states that you are achieving the results already, number one. And number two, you need to reflect on this mantra and attach feelings and emotions to it. Okay? Just saying something out loud repetitively without any conviction or feeling behind it is not going to generate you any results. Okay, so I mean, I've got a few examples that I've written down here for you. Um, for example, one of them could be I'm successfully reducing my sugar and carbohydrate intake daily much to the delight of every living organism in my body. My body is healing itself each minute of the day and I'm already experiencing the rewards. Okay, so you can note everything that I've said there is already in this. And this is important, guys. You know, of course, I'm not telling you have to do it, but that which we um, manifest on becomes our realities. Okay. So again, it's important that you encourage yourself and you create a desire within yourself in wanting to achieve better health, okay? Um, and as I say, there's two, two markets here. There's, a, there's people who aren't currently ill, okay? Um, or possibly aren't carrying a huge amount of weight, but just want to break that barrier that weight that they just can't get off their bodies okay this is what they want to use this for and then you've got the other side which is more extreme you've got people who are suffering from cancer alzheimer's disease parkinson's disease okay all these degener degenerative diseases 
Okay, you don't have so much luxury of choice, okay? So it's very important then that you prepare yourself. Don't just go headlong into this because you're looking to make your life more difficult than it needs to be and there's a very good chance that you may not stay with it, okay? So again, mental preparation, having a few affirmations. As I say, I've written three down here and those will be on the website in due course. But also what I'll do is when I publish these videos, I'll put that into the notes at the bottom of the video for you. Um, and then, you know, play with those and create some of your own if you, if you, if you feel that these aren't um, ideal for you, okay? Um, okay, water, guys. Water is critical here. You need to take in a lot of water. Okay, practice now. Start taking in. I want you guys to be taking at least two liters of water a day. Okay, this type of metabolism uses a lot of water and you're going to lose a lot of water. Okay, so that means not only you're going to see fat loss and, and fat burning, but you're going to lose a lot of excess water that our bodies have been holding when we were in that carbohydrate consumption. Okay. The next uh, important step is remove temptation, right? So go look into your pantry, remove all the things that are loaded with sugars, loaded with carbs, get rid of those, okay? Take those products, obviously you don't want to throw them away, give them to family, give them to friends, people who are going to appreciate them, um, but start clearing out all the things that potentially can uh, become a temptation to you. Okay, so basically you're going to purge your pantry. The next obvious step is, well, we've got to replenish it, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you pretty much what I regard to be in and around the top 10 essential items, okay? These are the things you can go look for right now. Number one, probably the most important ingredient you're going to be using and you're going to be taking in a lot of it so it makes sense for you to get the very best quality you can uh, that's obviously affordable to your pockets right so that first product is going to be coconut oil okay we're going to be ingesting a lot of coconut oil so go and look for one that is um, green that's obviously uh, organic um, Remember, we're going to be taking in two to three to four tablespoons of this just in the things that we consume in drinking, okay, on a daily basis. So you want this to be the very best fuel that you can put into your body, okay, because this is what your ketone cells are going to rely on. The next product, which is very closely aligned, is called MCT oil, okay. This is a medium fat transglyceride okay and it's effectively is coconut oil it's normally odorless however it's very much more concentrated and more readily absorbed into the bloodstream okay again go gently on this product you want to be starting at a teaspoon at a time it's more concentrated it's going to upset your stomach if you're not used to it okay so again but a very very good uh, product to be using because when you're your fat levels aren't quite there in terms of how much you've ingested this is a very quick and easy way to top that up okay remember we're wanting to take in a minimum of 65 to 70 percent of fat on a daily basis the next um, fantastic product that i hope you enjoy and that you're going to have to get used to is avocado pear okay this is a superfood I mean, in essence, this carries everything that our bodies need, okay? It is that together with eggs is, um, it, these are what we call superfoods, okay? And um, we're going to be eating a lot of ammos, and I hope you, you enjoy them. If you don't, well, maybe it's time that you do, um, because really it it's goes a long way in assisting with this ketogenic lifestyle okay um, as I said broths homemade chicken soup beef stock any stock that you enjoy right again important it's not a must do but in my opinion because we lose so many electrolytes I have in the past 
suffered from um, uh, a loss of electrolytes, loss of energy, uh, feeling dehydrated, and this is the easiest way to avoid that, okay? As I said to you, eggs, we're gonna be eating a lot of eggs, and I'm sure for most people that's not a problem. Then also what we wanna do is we wanna stock up on polyunsaturated fats. Okay, polyunsaturated fats are our fats which come from olive oils, okay? Um, olive oil is very, very good for you, but what we want to avoid, and before I go there, our polyunsaturated fats carry our omega-3s, okay? Um, what you'll find is other cooking oils, such as sunflower oil and the like, okay? Soya and all those products, they are omega-6s. Omega-6s, our bodies need a very little amount, okay? They do need it, but um, we need it in small quantities, so avoid those at all costs. Okay, those are bad. That's what creates LDL. That is the, with the two types of cholesterol, HDL and LDL. HDL is good for us. LDL is what blocks up our arteries. We want to avoid that at all costs. All right, moving on, obviously animal fats, okay? These are saturated fats, butter, lard, duck fat, chicken fat, any animal fat, okay, again, ideally pasture raised, okay, by uh, organic and pasture raised is the ideal. Yes, we know these cost a bit more, but remember, this is the fuel you're putting into your body on a daily basis. This is what we're going to be cooking with, so, you know, Depending on your culinary skills, if you are cooking a duck, for example, bleed off that fat, keep that fat. That's an excellent, excellent um, fat to be cooking with, okay? And then, again, not to make it too difficult for you guys, what I would recommend is buying some chocolate. Everyone likes a little bit of sweetness every now and then. There are going to be times that you're going to battle and you're going to, you're going to feel like you're craving, particularly in the beginning. Um, but if you're going to buy chocolate, guys, buy chocolate that is 70% at least. Okay, 70 to 90% dark chocolate is what you want to be eating. Remember, sugar is a no-no here. Okay, we're trying to avoid that. Even at 70% cocoa content, you're going to have sugar. And that means you can only take in a little bit of chocolate at a time. Okay? And then... In essence, I'd say those are the key ingredients. Okay, obviously we're going to be we're going to be taking in a lot of vegetables, but for the time being, these are the main ingredients that you want to ensure that you have replenished your pantry with. Okay, these are the starting points and the building blocks that we're going to build this this um, diet or this lifestyle regime on. Okay, so. Guys, that in a nutshell is what it is um, for the purpose of this video, okay? Take time to plan and to prepare for going into this, okay? What we're going to do is we're not just going to throw you headlong into this. We're going to wean you off, okay? And again, depending how much you consume currently is going to determine how long you want to wean yourself off these products for. Um, in the very short... Uh, uh, future I am going to be doing this okay so I'm gonna take you step by step I currently am NOT in ketosis I'm eating carbs and all of that as you'd expect in a country like Belgium um, but I will be in the next couple of days definitely no later than this coming or the next week I'm going to be taking you through the process of how I get myself into ketosis okay and then I'll be giving you a running commentary on that as we go. Great guys, that's enough for this video. <clears throat> Watch out for the next video where I'll be discussing the types of tests that I recommend you do before you start this, uh, this ketogenic process. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video.